post workshop note added to the end of the video. So during the uh, session, if you were attending live or if you sat down and watched through the uh, session, um, there was some trouble working with the uh, um, the custom reports tool, um, the templating. So I took a look at it and um, found what the issue had been. It was a combination of the uh, system having some files that needed some work on them and uh, a place within the application where there wasn't a air check happening. So um, I went ahead and um, updated the program. Uh, this will get posted um, this weekend when I post the rest of the updates to the um, uh, the uh, Mac version, but um, we can see that the uh, there's a couple changes that were made um, to the, the tool. Um, the first one was fixing um, the template related to uh, the spine labels. Um, in the video, um, when I did the session, you noticed that uh, in the spine label template, this was missing its um, pound sign. Uh, pound sign is a required part of the uh, templating language um, that it's looking for. So um, that's been taken care of. So now uh, the program can um, process uh, that data correctly. And so you can see that the report was finished. And so we can quickly take a peek at the um, resulting file uh, and see that it's uh, been done based on the criteria that's there. Um, same thing with um, other formats. If we wanted to look at, you can see that the other data is there. And if we processed it. Um, we can see that the uh, process is running and the reports gets generated and we can go back and take a look at the uh, resulting file. File. <laughs> uh, go to the resulting file. You can see the format here um, that we selected. So uh, it was a simple change that needed to be done. Um, so that's been finished. Um, I'm in the process of wrapping up the Mac version. All of the custom templating will show up um, in that version when uh, the update happens, as well as collecting the information related to um, invalid um, UTF-8 processing. <laughs>